Question 40. Scapular muscles, muscles of the upper arm. We have six muscles of the scapula. Firstly, we have subscapularis, which origins in the subscapular fossa. This is anterior view. And it inserts on the on the lesser tubercle and the function is adduction and pronation of the arm. Then we have supraspinatus which origins on the supraspinous fossa and inserts on the greater tubercle and the function is abduction of the arm. And we have infraspinatus, which origins on the infraspinous fossa, and it inserts on the greater tubercle. And the function is abduction and supination of arm. Then we have teres minor, which origins on the lateral border of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle and its function is the same as the infraspinatus which is adduction of arm and supination of arm. Next we have teres major in yellow. It origins on the inferior angle of scapula and inserts on the medial lip of intertubercular sulcus and it is involved in adduction and pronation of arm. Then we have the deltoid muscle. It origins on the lateral third of clavicle, the chromion and the spine of scapula. It inserts on the deltoid tuberosity and its function is abduction of arm. The nerve supply of these muscles you have in red the axillary nerve which supply the deltoid muscle and teres minor. Then you have a subscapularis nerve that supply the subscapularis muscle and teres major. Then you have a suprascapular nerve that supply the supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Next we have the muscles of the upper arm. which are um, coracobrachialis. You have a ventral group and you have a dorsal group. In the ventral group you have three muscles. Firstly the coracobrachialis, which origins on the coracoid process and inserts on the middle part of humeral shaft. It is involved in flexion and adduction of arm. Next we have biceps. It has two heads. The long head origins on the supraglenoid tubercle and the short head origins on the coracoid process. It inserts on the radial tuberosity and on the bicipital aponeurosis. Its function is flexion of the arm and also supination. Then you have brachialis in red. 
It origins on the lower half of humerus and inserts on the ulnar tuberosity. Its function is flexion of forearm. Now we have the dorsal group, which is only one muscle. It is the triceps. Triceps have three heads. The long head origins on the infraglenoid tubercle. The lateral and medial head origins on the dorsal surface of humerus. Lateral and medial head. They insert on the olecranon of the ulna and the function is extension of forearm. Now the nerve supply is divided into ventral group and dorsal group as well. You have musculocutaneous nerve that supplies the ventral group, the coracobrachialis, biceps and brachialis. And then you have the radial nerve in blue, which supply the triceps or the dorsal group. Here you see the musculocutaneous and the radial.